Welcome back. Now, depending on how your content is arranged, you can import your content from Microsoft Word into Microsoft Excel. And so the process is going to be the opposite of importing content from Excel into Word. So what we would do in this case is we would go to our file command and then we would save this document as a TXT file. The other thing we can do is we can use the export command. We can change the file type. We can change it by turning it into a plain text file here. Then clicking the save as button. Once we do that, we'll then click save. What you'll see here is you'll get a file conversion dialog box. You can use the default window. You can insert line breaks or not do that. In this case, we're going to leave it out. We're now going to click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Microsoft Excel. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our file command. We're then going to open a document. We're going to ask Excel to look for text files. When we do that, we will see our file. We'll then open that file in Microsoft Excel. Now, depending on how your data is coming in, you can determine how you want it to be brought in. You'll get a preview here in this area. You'll then go through the wizard. You'll go to the next page. You can then insert a break line, delete a break line, or move a break line. In this case, we are then going to click Next. We'll then come into this column. You can determine what kind of column you want to create. And once you've looked at your data preview, you can then click Finish. Now you'll see how your content will come over. Now this may not be exactly what you want, but again, depending on what you're importing in, and how you want it to come into your Excel file, you will be able to have access to all of the information. And as you can see here, basically each line represents the entire range of text. So all of the content is actually in the A column. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.